Welcome to Minnie's House of Pain COVID workout number 26. For your warm up today, we're going to do the total body close chain warm up starting with the right standing quad stretch. From there, you can either do the leg cradle like Coach Roberto's doing or the knee hug as we usually do in the total body close chain. From there, you're going to reach back into, with your non-standing leg into an inverted T, arms fully extended, thumbs up. From there, you can either step forward or step backward into a lunge with that back knee almost touching the ground, arms fully extended. From there, twist into the leg that's forward and then twist to the other side. Again, back knee still almost touching the ground. From there, you're gonna take that forearm and put it to the inside of your foot. From there, open into the leg that's forward. So in this case, they're opening to the left. And then you're gonna open to the other side. This helps open up your thoracic spine. Both hands come down into a hamstring stretch. This is one of my favorite stretches. If you need to modify for some reason, you can take a knee like Coach Roberto's doing here. Take a knee, try to put that chest on your knee. From there, after your hamstring stretch, you're gonna go into a downward dog, push your hips above your shoulders. From there, slide forward into your cobra pose. Get those hips on the ground. Stretch out those abs, arms fully extended. From there, you will go back into your downward dog and do what we call a reverse inchworm. That means you're walking your hands to your feet without bending your knees. Roll it up slow, big giant back bend at the top. Same thing on the other side with the other leg. As soon as you're done, we'll do 10 lateral lunge touches. I would say hold each pose for about a three count. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, switch. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, switch. This can be even done in a dynamic fashion, which we don't have illustrated here. But when you're done with this other side, you're gonna stand tall and you're gonna do 10 lateral lunge touches just like the group's doing here. So 10 lateral lunge touches, nice wide stance. Uh, we do this exercise as a lateral lunge, but you're just gonna bend to one side, touch with the opposite hand. You're gonna do 10 repetitions on each side. Coach Roberto is taking us through the rolling pattern. Say it with me now. Disassociate your shoulders from your hips. That means your shoulders move first and your hips move second. This helps reset your thoracic spine. Coach is doing what we call the upper body rolling pattern. So that means the upper body moves first, the lower body moves second. Uh, we will show you the lower body rolling pattern here momentarily. A couple different options with the lower body rolling pattern. You can lift your leg and bring it across as Coach Roberto is demonstrating here, or you can simply sweep your leg across your body and just continue to reach. You're still disassociating your shoulders from your hips, but in this case, it's your hips from your shoulders because with the lower body rolling pattern, your hips are going to move first and your shoulders are going to follow through. Take your time. Remember, there is a fluidity to this drill. It should be very smooth. If it's not, just keep doing it. You will get there. Your body knows. 
Coach Craig is taking us through the side lying sweep. In this instance, he's on his left side. His knees and ankles are together and his knees are up at or above his navel. He's taking a deep breath in and he's tracing that wrist all the way across his body to make a T on the other side. So that top hand traces the ground and in, in a perfect world, you can get your wrist and your elbow and your shoulder to touch the ground on the other side. That's easier said than done. Do your best. You do have two reps, sorry, I'm sorry, two sets of eight reps on each side. Inhale as you open, exhale as you close. Coach Roberto's taking us through the lying 90-90. His knees are pointing in the same direction. He's gonna take a deep breath in and he's gonna reach across the knee that's forward. Open up that thoracic spine, the lower back. Also stretches out those lats. Spider-Man with rotation gives you some hip flexion, some hip extension, plus some thoracic spine rotation. A great, great drill here. Coach is stepping forward with the left leg and he's opening to his left. Comes steps back with his feet together, steps forward with the right, and then opens to the right. You can also do it dynamically as Coach is showing you here as you just move forward. Whatever leg you step forward with into your lunge, you open to the same side. We're asking that you do two sets of eight repetitions on each side. Right off the bat, coach is showing us a one-legged squat. Some know it as a Bulgarian split squat. I didn't want to do a geography or a history lesson here, so we'll just call it the one-legged squat. Keep that knee in line with your footprint. This is definitely an exercise that's in the lunge family. It's like a lunge, folks. Only difference is your back foot is elevated, so you still want that back knee to almost touch the ground, get really good depth here. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you stand. Four sets, eight reps each leg. Coach Roberto is showing us how to secure the band through your doorknob on the other side of your door. Very safe, very easy to do. Make sure you grab your band as, as to, to, to get whatever tension you need. If you, don't, if you have a smaller band and you're not getting enough tension, grab closer to the anchor point. You're doing four sets, 10 reps here. When you're done, going right into band curls. Keep those elbows glued to your side and curl up. You got 15 repetitions. Moving right along, starting with shoulder touch push-ups. Now, the reason why I like this exercise is it gives you the core activation of a shoulder touch and the strength properties of a push-up. So, right touch, left touch, push-up. Left touch, right touch, push-up. It doesn't matter the order, it matters the depth of the push-up. So, do it right. If you need to move to your knees, by all means, go to your knees and give us your best effort as it relates to your push-up. If you don't want to go to your knees, but you want to use an elevated base, that works too. It doesn't matter. Just do it and do it right. You're only doing six reps here, folks. Be smooth. When you're done with your shoulder touch push-ups, grab your favorite size kettlebell. Give us 10 of your best swings. After your kettlebell swings, drop down into your plank position. Plank reaches, you're doing 10 repetitions on each side. So that's a plank, extend one arm, back down to a plank, extend the other arm. If you need something to touch, put a cone, put a clipboard, put something out for you to reach towards.
Coach Craig is showing us the racked march. You can use one dumbbell or two, one kettlebell or two, but you're marching in place. Remember, activate that lat and pull that fist down so that your thumb can point into your collarbone. It's very important to get, that's the whole point of having a racked position. If you don't have the space, or if you do have the space, by all means, you can do a rack carry. We ask that the distance be about 10 yards. If you want to go longer than 10 yards, knock yourself out. When you're done, showing you here modified bench dips, but you're going to do 20 reps. If you need to modify it, that's fine. Keep your feet flat. Use your legs as your spotter. If that's too easy for you, straighten your legs out. If that's too easy for you with straight legs, you can elevate your feet. And if that's too easy for you, you can elevate your feet and add some resistance by putting some weight or some bands anchoring yourself down. But 20 reps should do the trick. Okay, get your water break, get ready to do some punching. Now, I don't want no fitness punches, okay? Work hard, throw them hard, pretend like someone's trying to take your lunch money, or pretend like you gotta fight this guy right here. Yeah, I bet you don't throw your punches like that. When you're done with your punches, grab some wall, park it for 30 seconds. If that's too easy for you, grab some resistance. Dumbbell, kettlebell, plate, anything. Hold it out with those arms fully extended. Long arms. Hips at the depth of your knees, if not slightly lower. Do not take it easy on yourself. Lastly, your ticket out of the door, bear crawls. You can do a bear crawl march in place for 30 seconds. That's what the time limit is for. If you don't want to do that and you want to have some, if you have some space near you, by all means, go down a distance of 10 yards, maybe 15 yards, and go back. Do your best. Try to keep your hips and shoulders at the same height. Now, unless you do like this guy here and, and lose a bet. But either way it works, careful steps, smooth movements. How does that make you feel? Shut up, Sean. I'm trying. Come on, get your butt down. Can't get any louder. You look like a dog drinking water. High five, Jen. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Ten more. 